Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to be doing a Photoshop tutorial, which I haven't done one in a little while actually. And this is a request from a few people already that have seen this photo on my Instagram. And the particular tones that I'm going to do in Photoshop tonight were really retro inspired when I was doing them on this recent set of images. And I thought you guys might be interested in seeing how they were done. So I'm gonna get straight into the tutorial tonight. And the first step will be to bring up a solid color in Photoshop. So this first solid color is going to be 0C1E3D. And we'll press OK. So it's just a dark blue color that I'm going to set to lighten at 31%. With putting this blending mode to lighten, it's just filling in all the shadows. I do this with a lot of my images because I think it automatically gives it that muted kind of retro look. Uh, so I'll just show you guys what that has done. And the second step will be putting another solid color into the image. So we'll bring that up and it's going to be A0992E. And we'll press OK. So this is a really ugly yellow color, but we are going to set this to color burn at 2%. Now color dodge and color burn are quite strong blending modes. So I usually have them on a very low percentage, uh, low opacity. So I'll show you guys what that's done. It's just kind of filled in the image with a little bit more warmth. And now we're going to bring up levels and we're going to move the shadows into two and then the highlights into 238 just to give it a little bit more contrast. The next step will be to bring up curves and we'll just map in a few points. The first point will be 10 and 0. The second point will be 31 and 31. The third point will be 109 and 109. The fourth point will be 222 and 217. And then the last point will just be 255. So we've just kind of added a little bit more contrast again into the image by adding curves, but still keeping the highlights not very strong and then the shadows not, not overly strong either, which helps create that retro effect. We're going to now bring up another solid color and this one is going to be 4E. 5F60 and this one we're going to set to color dodge at 11%. So this is adding a little bit more brightness to the image and kind of still keeping that muted green retro tone throughout the image. That blue green effect we can see happening. Now we're going to bring up selective color and we're going to go into cyan's and we're going to make a few adjustments. So cyan's will be minus 78. Magenta will be minus 78. Yellow will be plus 55. And then blacks will be 29. And I'll show you guys what that's done. So it's just kind of tweaked the colors a little bit more, bringing out the greens in the image as I kind of want that to be the standout color. Now we're going to bring up Vibrance and move it down to minus four, just to take away any bits that are too saturated. And then the last step will be to bring up another solid color. And this one is going to be C4C D3B. So this is actually a very similar color to the one that we had before, but it is a little bit brighter. And we're just going to apply this in a different way now. So we're going to set this one to darker color at 2%. So in any highlighted areas of the image, that's now been filled in with a really soft yellow color, helping it give that retro effect once again. And that is pretty much the end of the tutorial, guys. It's just a really quick one tonight. I will do a before and after. So this is the before image and this is the after. And just once more, this is the before and this is the after. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see on my channel. If you'd like to see more behind the scenes and uh, pick up some more Lightroom Photoshop presets, you can head on over to my Patreon account where I will be posting a lot more there. 
Uh, I don't know so much about over the next week or so since my computer has been having major difficulties over the last few days. So I'm not sure how much I will be posting over the next week. And I will also be going back to Sydney. So if I'm a little bit off the grid, you know why. Uh, but if there's anything that you'd like to see on my channel, please let me know below in the comments section. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.